place is nice. Alright, so I've got a hunt coming up. I need to make some arrows, so I thought I'd make a video about how I make my arrows. But as you can see, like, workshop is a pig stock. Anyway, um, I'll set the camera up and. Alright, I'll just clear some of this bench. So, I've got a longbow, I think it's 46 pounds or something, I use Heritage 250s, uh, I just get them from Redback Archery, um, yeah, I think the 250s something like uh, 8 and a half grams. Aluminium arrows that I cut down, my pipe cutter, pretty simple, um, I've been spraying everything with Hamatone copper. These are going to be the footings. I got that from Tomsky McDougall. Should check his channel out. Um, so basically, they go on the end of the arrow like this. And they get glued on. Then you put the insert on, and then you screw the head in. Oh, I'm using Tusker Aztecs, 190 grain, just with the standard aluminium insert. I order from. Tusker themselves, they don't put a bevel on them if you ask. So that way you can single sided bevel. And I just use my trusty Ryobi $80 Ryobi grinder. I just try and hold it. I just try and hold it. I basically want a nice even bevel all the way along on each side which I can then just sharpen on a stone. So I just try and hold it flat but without grinding this section. We've got the water. Just a couple of sweeps at a time you can see it just starts to take it off. You just keep your fingers on it. You can tell when it starts to get too hot. Basically, looking for that nice edge the whole way along. Yeah, it would seem like my water bucket has a hole somewhere. Yep. That's okay, we'll just turn that that way so it leaks off my bench. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but see how this edge right here is very, like, almost fuzzy? That means that it's pretty much what you need to do finished. That's just the very, very end of the metal, um, forming like a little flap, if you will, which will come off when you do a final sharpen. So I usually just take it off with the edge of my bench, and then that's pretty much ready for the stone. One side, flip to the other side, do the other side.
block of team up, calls drilled in. Finished broadheads, ready for painting. I like making four flights um, because I think they're easier to shoot in terms of you don't have to uh, you know you don't have to think when you knock the boat you just grab them and they slam in anyway I just regular super glue or Tarzan script whatever I've got lying around. Maybe not. Dead too. Yeah. Turns out I don't have any super glue, so I guess I have to continue this video when I have some more. Found some more glue. Found my the alcohol. Voilà. So once the glue's dried, screw the board head in and basically just give it one little final sharpen on the bench sander to take it from that 
to that. Let's see how I make my errors. <laughs>